Good morning, YouTube. It's me on the page, aka the Emperor of Body Being Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, you know, I have many names, many identities. You know me as the Emperor of Bodybuilding Talk, also of LBME Talk, Wrestling Talk. And, you know, uh, it's just it's these names, I some of these names I gave to myself, but a couple of names was uh, bestowed upon me by other people, such as uh, my dear friend, Mary Queen of Savagery. You know, she called me the pervy sage, you know, <laughs> as you know, and also a great man, the great Dennis Espinosa, you know, the hand of the king, warden of the West. He calls me the commander of the wall, the uh, protector of the North. And, you know, if you ever watch the old series Game of Thrones, that's the name of Jon Snow, you know, the bastards of Winterfell. He is the commander of the wall. And as a commander of the wall, often uh, I get little birdies or I call ravens. They send me little messages every so often. Things that come out there. You know, in the series, that's how they used to send messages back and forth with ravens. And, you know, ravens is just a big... Uh, a uh, big crow, I think. You know, that's what ravens. You know, this, this crow, raven, man, pies. It's about the same family. So anyway, one of my ravens sent me a message, and it was particularly dealing with certain things going on. You know, um, the, since this year, there's been many stories going on with the Mannion family uh, about the stories they're dealing with, with the bodybuilding world, deaths, also sexual harassment. You know, even Jim Mannion can't even go to the Olympia. Funny how a certain person whose name we do not speak, she can go, but. You know, the, the guy who runs um, the, I, the I for BNPC for so many years can't. You know, that's how it is. But anyways, you know, the Manion family is under vacation, it's investigation. Um, JM, the, uh, uh, Jim's son, and also um, he's being looked at because of certain situations of sexual harassment and also of um, other miscellaneous other uh, accusations against him, which are look like there's going to be a big lawsuit against the Manion family, a very big lawsuit. And anyway, you know, the story came out about the story of bodybuilders, ladies who were who were, were involving with men, you know, and especially, you know, being harassed, being, you know, told or in sexual situations, making porn, something like that. And even the story about of the uh, death of Alina Havani, you know, who died in um, back uh, this uh, last year it's at the uh, Europa Championship in Spain. I interviewed the lady she talked to. The last person she talked to was that was um, Ivana uh, Danikova that was at that show, you know, a fellow... Um, you know, Czech Republic, sir. But anyway, this story that my little raven sent me was a story of a young lady who was found unconscious in her home last month. And this is uh, Nagy Shelton. Nagy, I'm sorry, Nagy Shelton. And she is a, she is a competitive um, bikini competitor in the NPC. You know, they were saying calling her a bodybuilder, but she's not really a bodybuilder. And, you know, that's, you know, she's a bikini. She is in the bodybuilding world, in the world sports fitness, but she's a, a bikini competitor. But she was found unconscious in her home, you know, after going through rigorous exercises, uh, struggling with her breathing. You know, she was on a diet for a, 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 a barely 900 calories a meal. And it's just not good. And, you know, she has been competing for a good while. She started competing around about the good part of the 2000s in bikini. As I said, you know, I don't do a lot of content in bikini, but when this stuff that needs to be reported on, because I even can't find stuff, nobody talk about it, uh, even on YouTube or social media. And, you know, she did a couple of shows, a show in um, uh, last year, um, the uh, Samson's Showdown, the NPC show, and also the Baltimore Guardian Championship. And, you know, she wanted to compete, so she switched over and reached out to uh, a, a new coach. And the coach was, was Team um, Atlas, which is being run by James uh, Ioli. You know, and James is very popular. You know, he's from Canada, very popular coach. And, you know, he mostly does a lot more women, especially in the bikini division. And, you know, back in the day, he was a bit of a, a, a bit of a heavy dude. Yeah, you know, I understand that. But he made, this, you know, he made those um, changes and he got into a healthy lifestyle and became a coach and a motivator. You know, most of his clients are mostly women. He's kind of like the Canadian version like of Sherry Starnes. Actually, Sherry Starnes from Canada, actually. And he's just a big star up there. He promotes shows. He, you know, um, help, you know, establish uh, up and coming stars, you know. And, but then there's some issues going on. The Canadian Fem uh, the Canadian Bodybuilding Federation, which is kind of like the um, the equivalent of the NPC, had put charges again. He was charged with several counts of sexual misconduct with some of his clients, also, just not being a very good trainer, even though he does some good, but you know, it's hit or miss. I know um, tonight there's going to be, um, you know, the uh, boss bitch of uh, Rita West is going to talk about um, how she had a hit or miss with her trainer. And there was a, a lady by the name of uh, uh, Charlotte uh, Dup Dupant, 
who was one of his clients. She was, he, she also, she's a, uh, 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 I would say, a, uh, amateur competing, um, um, bikini competitor who reached out to James back in around 2018. And, you know, there were stories of where he was giving them a uh, certain, um, drugs, which are, they call gear in the bodybuilding world. And the gear was sometimes because, you know, they had to ship it out of Canada. They had to call it either oils or vitamins. And even his girlfriend, who was Hannah, she was even taking part in the day. You know, I, her last name, I can't say right. So her name, Hannah, she's, she's a model. She's a fitness uh, uh, instructor. You know, she's also, I think she's also Middle Eastern, just like um, Nagy. Nagy's region from Iran. And, you know, and um, those two were pretty much involved with possible transporting you know, um, illegal substances across American borders. You know, a while back, Chris Bumstead's sister got busted for that. And it's probably he was involved in it too. And these two are like under the investigations for transferring drugs across um, you know, American lines into other countries. You know, that's, 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 hey, that's heavy stuff. But still, he's still training people. Now, one lady who um, is, a, is a pro level, she competes, she, um, pro level compete, uh, um, bikini because of it, that is Laura uh, Capa, uh, Capatos, you know, Laura Lee Capatos. She was one of um, James's clients. You know, she's been a multiple time Olympic competitor, also a classic competitor, and she has a lawsuit against her by James because he wasn't shouting her out. And you know, I saw it on um. You know, Nick, uh, what's his face over there? You know, I don't watch his stuff too much, but I just looked, I listened to the click a while ago. And, you know, she was very devastated because, hey, this man was been a friend. But there's some issue. This guy's suing his own client because he didn't shout her out at a, at a show. Maybe she had got, hey, sometimes, especially when these ladies are low on carbs like that, hey, it misses their brain. So my thing is shout out to, um, this is about, really about Neggy Shelton. Her family, they're standing by her, you know, supporting her. They had to take care of her. They just recently said they moved, she moved to a, a extended living facility because she's been in a coma since November. And, you know, she's not active. They have to really take care of her. Like like right here, a mother and a sister are tending to her, you know, putting nail polish on her, make sure she's good and clean. And she was taking some heavy stuff, some of the stuff that guys use, like uh, even certain drugs that were used for if men, especially for men, body, but would block them from having what they call bitch tits. It's where when their their um, breasts become more enlarged and swollen, kind of like if you were pregnant. But you know, Nikki, she is hanging in there. Um, there's no telling will she ever get out of her comatose state. Uh, I feel bad about this girl, and no one's been talking about it. So I decided, you know, I got to say something about it because you know my content is about you know um, talking about what's going on in this sport. I'm just not a fan of bodybuilding, but like I said, I'm a content maker. And nobody else will say anything about it. So if no one else do, I should. But like I said, um, she does have a GoFundMe. Uh, the uh, Atlas team uh, fixed her up a, a GoFundMe and um, in her um, in an, also an IG account. So if you are anybody out there, I know it's getting close to the holidays. You know, money's getting tight. You know, you want to spend the time with your family and friends. But if you're interested in helping out. Um, Nikki Shelton and her family. The you know the go for me. I'm gonna leave in the description. Also, we'll leave the um, uh, her IG, which was, was created by the Atlas team, um, and um, you can check it out. The story that um, the Washington Post posted is in there. You got to click in the um, in her story part. You know they have somebody sent me a link, but when you what they do is like you have to try you know uh, subscribe and buy. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. No, but I do find I I, I have the uh, the link where you don't have to read it. It's gonna be I'll put it in the description also. So check it out. And if you have a ways and means to support you know, Nagy Shelton and, and her recovery, um, if you want someone who genuinely want to help out, she's she's in the hospital in, I think, in Virginia. Uh, she's originally from Ashburn. And I think the hospital is, uh, I believe, is a uh, involved uh, London hospital. Um, you, you, like I said, you'll find it in the um, in the in the um, in the in the, uh, the article. But like I said, this young lady, 36 years old, she was five, six and she was barely, barely over 100 pounds. And this thing is, you got to realize your body type, she's tall. That's tall for over 5'6". And then you try to squeeze something below, like under, anything under, I would say, 100 or 150 for a woman that size is not healthy. It's dangerous. You know, you know I talk about um, content on MMA fighters. They talk about ladies. Got to understand, your bodies are different compared to men. And you have high BMI than men. And, you know, and this just affects you. And, this, and you know, I say her, her, hypo, her hypoglycemic levels are very low. And, and the doctor said it's because of the, her diet. 
it wasn't healthy. Even she got it. She said the thing when her James sent her a message telling her, "Oh, don't cheat on your on your on your uh, on your diet and all stuff." She should have cheated. She would have been better. She spent two hours on the floor to somebody found her. If they caught to her earlier, like I did when my, when my mom she had her seizure, I was home and I caught her early. And if they caught her early, you know this girl could have been you know a lot better. But like I said, you got to be careful ladies out there. These you know, coaches out there, people that understand the woman's body more than anything. This James, this guy James Iro, he's in a lot of trouble. And if I have anybody, I will be aware of him. You know, just be aware. Like I said, be aware of your surroundings at all time. Anyway, um, I want to say shout out to um, uh, Nikki and her family. I hope everything goes well with her. And maybe, you know, one of my favorite singers, Al Bashir, was in a coma for about two months. Maybe, you know, he came out of it. But maybe she also came out of it. We just hope and pray for her. See your heart and love to the family. And if you, like I say, if you have a way to donate to her, go for me, which I leave in this comment section, in the description section, you know, please do. And, and I know it's the holidays. And I understand, but like I said, it never hurts to give and to help somebody out who deserves it. Sometimes the kindness of strangers sometimes often helps a lot of people. You know, this man always your page, aka the Emperor of uh, Body Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out. You know.